the fall of 2019, my brother and I will continue our journey as student athletes at. One of Section 5's most decorated student athletes made it official. The <laughs> On the court where Miles Brown has starred for the past five seasons, the North Star Christian Academy guard announced he will continue his academic and athletic career at Ohio University. A big stress reliever. Uh, I was just ex anxiety like crazy. Just anxious to get this and announce my school college decision. I'm just happy with my decision now. Oh yeah, it's just a tremendous opportunity just to continue my basketball career with my brother. It's always a dream come true. We dreamed of this moment since the day we were born just to go to Division One and play basketball with each other and now is the day. Brown had Division One offers from Bryant University, Canisius College, Central Arkansas, Fordham, and Niagara. In the end, he chose to follow Jeff Bowles, who originally offered him a scholarship to attend Stony Brook University. I had a great relationship with the coaching staff, uh, Coach Lamar and Coach Bowles at Ohio University. They were previously recruiting me at Stony Brook, which I previously uh, committed to, and then I decommitted there, and I took my official visit to Ohio. And just being on campus with the guys, it just felt like a family atmosphere. They embraced me as one of their brothers, and I just felt like this was the right choice. His twin brother, Mike Brown Jr., will join him as a preferred walk-on. None of this would be possible if it wasn't for the selfless efforts of his brother, Michael Brown Jr. And I definitely wasn't going without him. So wherever I was going, Michael was definitely going to be right by my side. So it was an easy decision for me. Yeah, we started this journey at just the day we were born, but the first time we started playing basketball, just six years old, and we always dreamed about playing basketball in college together. We never knew where it would be. We just prayed about it, thought about it, and Ohio University, it was. Just being able to go to college with my brother and continue my career, it's just a great opportunity, and I know it just comes from the Lord above, and I'm very thankful for it, and I just can't wait to see the great things we'll be able to do and accomplish in college. Me and Miles, we both are talking about a lot of different schools, because he has schools recruiting him from all over. Schools coming in to watch him play, and a lot of those schools, sometimes they showed interest in me as well, and they said, well, if, if you want to, you can come and be part of the team as well. So Miles, he, he definitely brought me in and made sure that every coach knew that I was going to be a part of that little deal and made sure that I was going to be able to go with him. So, yeah, Miles made sure that I was a big part of his decision. Uh, you know, we're very relational here uh, with the coaches and the players, and, you know, they found that in the, the coach from Ohio. Um, you, you know, so it's just it's a perfect place for them, I think, and I think they'll both really flourish, and uh, I'm ecstatic that they can continue to play with each other. You know, it's just so unique, I mean, because, yeah, obviously we're a smaller school, and, you know, things like this don't even really happen at a, a larger school. And, um, you know, it's just a great testament to Mike and Jackie and just bringing the boys up and, you know, teaching them loyalty and instilling those, uh, the character in them. And uh, it, it's just special to have North Star be a part of this experience. Having both sons continue their careers at the same college was more than Mike Brown Sr. could imagine. Really, no, other than just thankfulness, um, I'm just so, um, excited to see all the hard work and efforts and sacrifice and see all that we put into it come to fruition with this opportunity this boy's been extended and so it's been a long time coming i knew we could get here and um, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad to be here this day to see it all come together can i just say this because i probably should have said this during the speech but i didn't because it was really about his day than, than me but michael and miles have such a strong bond obviously because they're twins but let me just say this, and as accomplished as Miles has been in the game of basketball, and he loves his brothers so much that, in no disrespect to any school in the area, but I, I know for a fact, based on multiple, multiple conversations, he'd rather go to MCC and be with his brother than go to Duke and not be with him. So whatever was gonna happen, his brother had to be there. And we're just very fortunate that both schools really like, like both players and they both have opportunity to continue to play in uh, career together. Section 5's all-time leading scorer leaves behind a legacy that includes 2,914 career points, good for third in New York State, trailing only Syracuse University commit Joe Girard and NBA veteran Lance Stevenson. Miles Brown is a three-time Section 5 tournament MVP and all-greater Rochester performer. He led his team to two state Final Four appearances 
and was a part of 108 wins during his career. Uh, you know, it's actually, it feels like the last chapter, like it's finally over, although we stopped playing uh, weeks ago. You know, this kind of feels like the uh, culminating moment, and, you know, I'm very proud. Uh, you know, I feel like I've been around the boys really since they were boys, now they're young men, and just to see them grow as individuals um, in the context of the team, it's, it's very special. Uh, me coming from a small school, everybody doubted uh, this team's capability and just for us to go out there and prove that everybody wrong and that we can compete on any level is just a tremendous opportunity. From North Star Christian Academy, this is Paul Gotham with the High School Sports Beat, brought to you by Alfred State College.